was just so willing and just so trusting. I think he knew that we were trying to help him. He was found by two girls under a Lincoln Bridge. The girls had put him into a cart with some blankets. They had walked him over to the shelter. Sitting up, and you could see that he was really, really thin, and you couldn't see full of steam. So we brought him inside and first put him on the floor. And we just took a look at him, and you could tell that everyone was just so heartbroken. He started to walk around a little bit, which was surprising because he was. He was clearly neglected and probably on the street starving for a while, but he was really, really sweet and gentle and trusting, and that made everything even more heartbreaking because he clearly just wanted to be loved. With a dog that's in this condition, it's really dangerous to give too much food because they could go into shock. But we gave him a little bit of food, which he ate just very, very willingly. <laughs> After we gave him that little bit of food, we rushed him to the emergency vet. He finally settled and just sort of laid down and closed his eyes and got a little bit of rest. slowly. <laughs> All the visitors that he had, he was always really curious about, and he always said hello. And he knew he was safe, and he didn't have anything to worry about anymore. It was a little past the one month mark where they started looking for a foster, and Allison came out of the woods. We were just like, I hope this is a fail. Sweetie, and he has made my life much happier since he arrived. 